Okay, for my next art journaling layout, I've used a half of a face that I got out of a magazine, probably a Vogue, um, and I have um, put it down on the side. I just did a black background just to cover my page initially, and I'm going to use coloring book images. Um, I think I've talked about this in a past video, but I absolutely love adult coloring books and the designs that are in them. I like to draw these kind of things as well, but um, having these and picking them up here and there when I see them, especially if they're at a thrift store, um, I pick them up because look at those cool designs and backgrounds and they make really interesting elements on your art journal pages. So what I thought I would do is use this one right here and I'm going to fussy cut some of the images to add to this page. And actually I turned the page over and this was on the back side and I like it even better. So this is the image that I'm going to use on my art journal page. So here are my images trimmed out and laying, um, this is how I'm going to lay them onto my layout. So now I'm going to adhere them and um, I like to use this 3M General Pur Purpose Adhesive Spray. It takes very little, um, I just flip it, flip the image upside down. Um, put it over my garbage can and just lightly do a light mist and it sticks right down super flat it's not wet and it doesn't um, wrinkle your pages so that's what I like to use for coloring book images to glue them down I'll put a link in the description box below for that adhesive if you're interested um, anyway this is how I'm going to lay them out and then I'm going to do my um, my words and my journaling and probably do a border and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So just so you know you can color the images in your book in your coloring book before you trim them out. Um, if you're going to use things like Matte John Medium or Mod Podge to put them down on your collage you're going to want to probably color them with something that doesn't move when it or reactivate when it gets wet. So you would want to use something like colored pencil to color them. The other thing you can do is um, you can trim out your image ahead of time. So like this is gorgeous. I love this. It's so pretty. And you could trim this out all all of it in one or in parts and layer it onto your page put it down with your spray adhesive and then right on your page color it and you can color it that way you can do use um, watercolor paints you can use uh, things that are water soluble so I'll show you how to do that um, on the next page that I do now I'm using a fine tip uh, uni Posca pen and I am going around since I did a black background I want the contrast of white so I'm going around all the images and tracing around in white like this flower that's all traced around in white and then I'm adding some doodling as well so like when I go around something like this then I like to go back and add in like a border of dots border it in dots all the way down like that so that's what I'm doing next is just doing all my white outlining and some doodling so here's how my page came out this is with my doodling around my coloring book images and then adding my journaling to it and doodling on the magazine image. Let me turn that light off so it's not so glary. There you go. So that's how it came out and I really love it. Fun, fun, fun. So grab yourself a coloring book image and give that a try. And now for the next layout I'm going to show you how to um, add the image and then color it on the page. 
Okay, so now I'm going to do another layout. I had this already started and I just put some blue over here to tie it in. <clears throat> and I'm looking at this Sea Life coloring book. I may use the whale tail. Um, I also like there's a an octopus in here. And what you can do is you can um, fussy cut this out just as it is in the book and then use your adhesive spray, add it to your page, and then color it while it's on the page. Another thing you can do is if you have a flatbed scanner uh, that prints, you know, a printer like the all-in-one printer, um, better with a laser printer, better with a laser printer, but um, it works just fine too with an inkjet. Trust me, I've tried it. I don't know why people say you can't, but I'm going to inkjet do it. But anyway, you can lay this down on the scanning uh, part of your flatbed scanner and print. Uh, cut a sheet of watercolor paper, preferably hot press because it's smooth, and uh, cut it in eight and a half by eleven size. Feed it into your printer uh, where the paper goes and print this image onto watercolor paper then you can watercolor it so there's another idea for how to use a coloring book image i'm going to go ahead and just uh, trim these out add them to my page and color them on my page for this layout okay so i have fussy cut out my um, images out of my coloring book and i used my spray on adhesive to put them onto my background in my book and now what I'm going to do is color them right on, to, right on the page and I'm going to use um, Tombow Dual Markers and watercolor paints. So I'm going to just show you a little bit of it. I won't show you the whole thing for time, but just to show you that it's easy to um, do this right on the page now with having your coloring book image put down onto your art journal page. So I'm just going to take some Tombow and put it around. I'm going to use a water brush to spread out the color. And I'm not getting it super, super wet. And the Tombows do um, sink into that thin paper that is from the coloring book. And I imagine watercolor paint will probably do the same as well, but... I'm just going to do some coloring of the images like that. So I'm going to do the... I'm using some regular watercolor paints, and I'm going to do a basic wash of color over this octopus. So I'm just taking my watercolor paint and washing over that image just to lay down some color. And then I'm going to, once it's dry, I'm going to go back in and because this is Zen, a Zentangled image, I'm going to go back in and add some colors in with colored pencil. But I just wanted a wash of color to basically make the octopus colored. And you can still see the Zentangle patterns underneath. And I'm not being very specific. I'm not being too careful to paint it. I'm just laying down the color just to get that color over it. For one thing, it won't be as white because, you know, those books are very, it's just bright white paper, super thin. Okay, so there's my octopus and I'm going to let him dry and then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to co color him with uh, probably some Tombow markers and some watercolor pencils and I'm going to do the scene down here the same way with watercolors 
as a base layer and then um, Tombow's and colored pencils over the top and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so here's how it came out. I colored it with um, Tombow markers, watercolor paints, and colored pencils. So I colored my um, coloring book image and my cute little my octopus I love it and underneath him I put some shadows I used a Posca pen to do under the sea is where I'd like to be and there you go so that gives you an idea of a way to use an image out of a coloring book oh and on the chain I'm not sure if you can see that see that shine I used um, I used one of the um, I used the Spectrum Noir pen in the sterling silver it is a paint pen that is um, metallic that's it's filled with a um, mica ink that um, is very glittery so I use that on the chain from the anchor and it just in person it just looks so cool so anyway that was fun I had a good time doing that and I hope that gave you an idea that you can put your coloring book image down on your scanner. You can print it onto watercolor paper and do a watercolor painting and frame it. You can fussy cut out parts of it and glue it down and then paint it on your book or color it on your book. You can, um, and you can color the images in the book, then cut them out and then add them to your page. Um, as a focal point. So there's lots of fun things that you can do with adult coloring books for your art journaling. Hope that gave you some ideas and if you have any questions please leave a comment and I'd be glad to answer any questions and I hope you enjoyed this. I will uh, put a link to the products that I used and love and mention here. Um, anything if you use the Amazon links because I'm an affiliate I do get a very small percent of that, but um, just to let you know that any donations to my PayPal me account or to um, purchases made from the products I recommend on Amazon, um, and I only and I only recommend what I truly use and love. So, 100% of that goes to uh, donations towards helping people with complex regional pain syndrome and multiple sclerosis so if you watch some of my other videos i do talk about that and so anyway hope you had fun i hope this gave you some fun ideas it's really um easy to come across and find adult coloring books in different places even the dollar store carries them dollar store coloring books i'm going to tell you right now though are very very thin paper still works but just keep that in mind if you're purchasing a dollar store one but maybe at your local thrift store you can find them where people have purchased them when the fad was really wild and crazy and then you know maybe they colored a page or two and then donated it so you you can find them relatively inexpensively and look at how beautiful they make as a focal or an addition to your art journal page so give them a try and i hope you do because it's a lot of fun and remember, art soothes the heart. Till next time.